Hey YouTube, it's Justin aka Demonic Sweaters here with another electronic drum product review. Today we're going to be taking a look at these Lemon Crash Cymbals. Now I did a review and actually a lot of us uh, electronic drummer type people on YouTube have already done reviews on the Lemon 3 Zone Ride, but actually today I'm going to be taking a look at the Lemon Dual Zone Crash Cymbals. Now these things are pretty inexpensive, though they are a little bit difficult to find, at least in the US but you can order them on alibaba.com, which is where I got these, and they're about $30 each, but by the time you pay for shipping and everything, I paid close to $100 for uh, two crash cymbals, but I still think that's a really good deal uh, for two dual zone crash cymbals of this size. Now these cymbals are just about 13 inches across, they're more like 12 and three quarters, uh, but almost 13 inches, which makes them a decent size for an electronic crash. Uh, they're built really well, but I haven't even tried them yet. So I'm going to put them on my kit here. I have a TD27 module, custom-made drum kit. I'm going to throw them on there and see what they feel like and sound like and how they trigger. So let's just get to it. All right, actually, I am quite impressed with these things. They trigger really, really well. Uh, they're easily just as good as my Roland CY8 cymbals as far as the accuracy. Um, I never once while playing had a single, you know, the top zone trigger when I meant to hit the edge zone or vice versa. They always triggered the zone that I was intending to hit when I hit it, which was a really big problem on some of the Pintech cymbals that I tried. So these Lemon cymbals, uh, at least you know, right now, I just got them, so who knows how long they'll last, but the ride lasted me a pretty long time so far, uh, so I think these should be okay. My only real criticism of them is they're a little bit rattly when you hit them, uh, like in the room, like compared to the Roland cymbals. They're, they just, you know, they're a little bit louder and they sound a little bit harsher when you hit them, but they feel good, actually. When you hit them, they feel, you know, they, they give pretty well and kind of react like a real symbol pretty well. 
so they're actually really nice, uh, especially for the money. And they look cool. They look almost just like the Rollins. Another thing I wanted to mention is they are compatible with Roland spin stoppers. Uh, this is my Roland CY8 here. And you'll notice on the bottom, there's this little uh, kind of concave indentation there that allows the Roland spin stopper to fit up in there to keep the symbol from spinning. And the uh, lemon symbols have the same exact shape down there. So you can use the Roland spin stoppers with the lemon symbols uh, and they work just fine. So, you know, they're a really good deal. Uh, the only issue being you really can't find them very easily in the United States. I suppose a, you know, ambitious individual could buy a bunch from alibaba.com and start listing them on reverb.com. Actually, I don't know why I haven't done that myself. Maybe I will. Uh, but, you know, you'd have to buy uh, quite a bit to make it worth your while, probably. Um, but still, you know, there's a minimum order of two, which really isn't that bad. So for two uh, symbols, it's like about $100. I think it was like $94 once I paid shipping and everything, which really was a pretty good deal. Uh, considering one Roland like this will cost you about 240 bucks. So lemon symbols are really pretty good. I'm really impressed with these. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon and the like button and all that stuff. And hey, uh, check out my music. There's some links down below. You can check me out on Spotify and Apple Music and all that stuff. Like experimental electronic music. You might like my stuff. So anyway, check it out and I'll see you guys really soon. See ya.